Here I am in m365.cloud.microsoft, which is also known as office.com. So what we are seeing here is a new UI of your m365 dashboard. Microsoft is rolling out this new user interface. And I have to tell you, it's definitely better than the previous one. And I can tell you why. So first of all, you if you have a Copilot license, you are going to be dropped in the chat as a first entry point of your page. You can have also Copilot Lite. This is enough to be dropped in this first dashboard and landing page. So the first thing that you will notice is a completely Restyle of the buttons on top uh, work and web here. You can click on this icon to start a new chat and if you click here you have easily access to recent pages That you are working on and Then you have the classic settings. So if you have agents installed so on the left which is the most important part because it gives you the ability to navigate through Microsoft 365, what you have here is, as I mentioned before, the chat and then all agents listed here. You can also, if you have more, you can click on all agents to display the full list. And then, moreover, you have the ability to create new agent directly from here. I already showed a video in the past how to do that, so check if you are interested in uh, go deeper about this topic now let's see the most important part from my point of view which is great from my opinion because in the past the history of your conversation with copilot was available so if you were in screen sharing in microsoft team for example and the first page that you showed was the, the pilot interaction. So that was not a very nice point for my opinion because privacy, you know, it's important. Maybe you don't want to display your chat history with Copilot to everyone. And this is very important because with this collapsible section, you are now able to hide your chat history with Copilot and then click on it to display your history. Another important thing that is added is the pages. So in this section, which is the same of conversation, you have now the ability to display your recent pages. And then we have a new addition. This is the funny part. Notebooks, I will cover another video to this topic and then create, which is more powerful. Now, using AI, you will be able to create images, videos, and more. Then you have, then, the classic way to access apps. So if you click here, then you will be able to access all your apps that you have on your Microsoft 365 tenant, the out-of-the-box and brand apps like PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, OneNote, SharePoint, and then your custom apps that you are going to release on your organization. And finally, if you are an admin, you have also the ability to access to the admin center. This is the profile picture where you can open the settings and then customize a bit the experience and the appearance of this new dashboard, which is, from my point of view, definitely better than the previous version.